Hello guys, Ivan here and welcome to this beautiful all-new Mercedes AMG E53 Cabriolet. So this is the key foot to the car and when you hold the unlock button, the roof will fall down. And special thanks to Mercedes-Benz Bratislava for having me here today with this beautiful car. The roof here is in black color. You can have it in various different colors like burgundy, navy and other. And you can see the flaps there, it looks just amazing. And the windows go up, that's like automatic. And if you, if you hold the unlock button again, the windows will fall down. Now we have true cabriolet style, which is just incredible. We have just wonderful spec here. This is the Zinho Diamond White Bright Paint with night package, red bright calipers, as well as matte black paint on the aero wheels, red seat belts as well, and the soft top roof is in black color. You can have a roof in different colors like burgundy and navy blue. And yeah, personally, I really like how this car looks in this specification. Let me know what do you think. So with the E53 facelift, we have all new headlights with LED bar and two dots. We have also the new grille with vertical slats and also redesigned front bumper. So the whole front looks completely different to the pre-facelift. So this is facelift version, but it feels like completely new generation. So that's how big are these changes. You can see power domes on the bonnet. A really great looking. Actually, I would already buy it if I would have a budget on it. So that's how, how much I like this. We have also very nice red seat belts, more or less classic Napa black. We have also black interior here. This is also possible to customize, so you can choose different color. We have also the new MG Performance steering wheel, which is the all-new steering wheel. And yeah, really classy and beautiful spec here with E53. Cabriolet, you can see this lip. It can be looked as a, as a kind of smaller lip, but it's, I would say, pretty decent. It's not small, definitely, you can see very nicely with the blue background. Uh, industrial look here with the containers and yeah in my opinion this is very very nicely looking lip actually we have four rounded exhaust pipes in black because of the night package and also diffuser with three fins so it looks absolutely stunning also the new rear tail lamps are redesigned so they now have this LED bar in the pre facelift it was like more glitters. Yeah, it was different. Also, we have this aero styling on the sides of the bumper. So, in my opinion, a really great facelift. Really, absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Also, around the whole cabin, you can see this aluminium decor. And that stays aluminium even if you have night package. Also, you can see here, very nice materials, you can see speakers there and this uh, aero part which you can extend so you have less noise from the wind when you are driving with the top down you can also extend this part to have like um, sorry this part you can extend so you have more uh, more protection from the air so less turbulence in the cabin Mercedes badge is flat that means that this is a distronic in the car and also this part is blacked out because of the night package. Overall, you can see here these fins, they create air curtains around the side of the car. So you have more, better airflow around the car. 
we have multi-beam LED headlights. These are the best headlights for the E-Class. So you can see here this wonderful Designio Diamond White bright paint. Let me find the angle where you can see it from the sun. It's absolutely gorgeous. Also here on the front fender we can see Turbo Formatic Plus. So this is all-wheel drive Formatic. And we have a turbo, single turbo in this car. So here under the fuel cap you can see recommended tire pressure, top speed which is 270 km per hour or 168 miles per hour in this case, 98 or more octane. And yeah, this is my first shooting outside after winter. Beautiful day today. Really absolutely, absolutely gorgeous for days like this. This is the perfect car, the cabriolets and roasters as well. Just a wonderful, wonderful car for these sunny days. All right, so let's open the bonnet. You can check out here the engine bay. So here we can find inline six cylinder engine you can see there. So here you can see inline six. This is AMG enhanced engine, produces 320 kilowatts. 435 horsepower and the torque is 520 newton meters. The acceleration from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour takes only 4.6 seconds. So this car is very quick and 270 kilometers per hour as we saw. 168 miles per hour is the top speed, electronically limited. So this engine is systematically electrified with 48 volt onboard electrical supply and this gives car very smooth running of the engine. So this engine is mated to AMG Speedshift TCT 9G, so torque converter, 9 gears. And together with the engine it works really, really smoothly. But it's also very exciting to drive this car and uh, hear the, the exhaust sound of this car. So we have also AMG Ride Control Plus suspension which combines advantages of several suspensions in one, the multi-chamber air suspension. It has very strong performance in every driving situation, such as a comfort driving, but also great stability in widening roads near the coastline, for example, here with the cabriolet. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think about this. We have also Formatic Plus system, which essentially powers real wheels, but also can shift some power to the front wheels. And here with this particular car we have also AMG Dynamic Plus package which gives you red brake calipers, also race mode, otherwise you have only Sport Plus mode and also drift mode, so it can disconnect front axle and you will have only real drive at your disposal. So yeah, just a wonderful combination of sportiness, elegance and styling and just technology in the, on the inside you will see with MBUX system, so really I don't know what to what else to say. This is really really wonderful. Okay, so now we can check out here the wheels. So these are aero wheels. You can see the aero rim. Uh, some people like this, some people don't like this. So there are more rims to choose from. So it depends on your taste. You can see this is in matte black color. You have this silver like uh, line around the rim. AMG engraved here. Red brake calipers, these are ventilated brakes as you can see, beautiful Mercedes star. We have advanced sport Yokohama tires and the tire size is 245, 35, 20 on the front. And at the rear we have 275, 30, 20 inch, so wider tires at the rear for better grip. So we have folded the roof, now we can put it back up, so just hold the lock button and it will start to close. As you can see here, it's very easy and a very quick process, I would say. Yeah, so now it's done. And great idea to put down the roof and drive with the top down. So yeah, really, really a dream car to have for summertime. All right, guys, so now let's fold the back down so you need to hold the unlock button in order for the roof to be closed you can see here the space where it folds so underneath that space you can also put some luggage I will show you that yeah it's fairly easy fairly quickly I would say 
you hear the beep that means that the car is done with the job now let's check out the interior here so you can see here we have beautiful Napa leather AMG black Napa leather so this is more or less black interior but it's still very high quality so let's hop inside and you can see invitation so this is the front of the car looking at you we have also AMG logo here and now in the facelift we have MBUX system 12.25 inch screens two screens and here in the middle you can see this is for the infotainment we have seat heating and seat ventilation also air scarf so this will blow hot air on your neck here from this in the headrest now it's doing on my my headrest so you can drive uh, this car during colder season even with roof down and it will be I know I, I would say fairly fairly warm I, I never tried it never had the chance to try it but that's the idea here you have also seat belt extension so if I close the door it will give you the seat belt we have also soft close on the doors and here you can see this beautiful red seat belt and the new AMG Super Sport steering wheel so how gorgeous is this so as you know emotion start if you hold one pedal the car will start in louder mode but you can also turn this into the sport sportiest mode we have race mode here with AMG Dynamic Plus package and this is how it starts it's fairly loudly starting up I would say for the OPF car as you can see here is the exhaust can you hear so let's put this back into the comfort it's still still really really nice can make it a little bit more loud here with this button how gorgeous is this you have really nice dynamic select button so here slippery mode is when obviously there is slippery it's snowy snowy conditions maybe rain and you can see here how the characteristics of the car changes then we have uh, individual mode here you can set it up how we want the engine transmission suspension comfort in this mode the car starts in comfortable mode sport is like a little bit more sporty than comfort sport plus is very big difference to the sport uh, also to the convert obviously and then we have race mode this is the most aggressive mode which comes only with AMG Dynamic Plus package here for the 53 and also the drift mode you can see here the really nice you can see this is like aluminium very nice pedals satisfied to click the steering wheel is a little bit thicker than in the preface lift we have also the largest Mercedes-Benz star here fitted to a steering wheel I really like this steering wheel I have to say it looks really absolutely gorgeous now in the facelift I'm a big fan of the new steering wheel definitely we can put this back into the comfort so it's quieter we have uh, obviously as you can see here the electric seats as I showed you here Burmester sound system surround system Napa leather and yeah here you can change as I said exhaust if you press on the display it will change what is there and then if you press here this smaller button then it will change the settings which is on the display so for example here the suspension auto start stop and you can set it up how you want here you have Distronic so you can set the distance between vehicle in front of you it will uh, actively monitor the distance between you and vehicle in front of you and as you can see here you can change these into the different styles essentially I showed you this in other E53 videos and I will link that in the description box below if you want to check it out in full detail I don't have time now to do that and it's not really necessary because it's basically the same so what is here different is here the mechanism for the roof so with this one you can put the roof down you can also put windows down or up and you have here this also this arrow part for the yeah for less air if you press this one 
This is just for the armrest. We have USB-C ports here. And this is beautiful matte black wood decor. We have wireless charging for a phone, 12 volt socket, USB-C port and cup holders. So we have this soft top roof. It's actually very nice isolated, but still you can hear more. For example, there are workers working uh, like transporting the car. You can hear more than on the coupe or maybe on the sedan definitely, but it's not a huge difference, I would say. So um, yeah, you can see here AMG badge on the seats. These are comfort seats. A really, really beautiful, great support, but also comfortable for road trips because this car is this is not like aggressive super aggressive car this is more for for uh, casual driving with the roof down but still it has enough sportiness to to be exciting so this is the envelope for the amg private lounge and you have here the glove compartment for some storage so this car was built in bremen factory one of the largest factories in germany after the Zindelfingen. There is also the C-Class is built also in Bremen. Very nice, you have here the shortcuts, dual zone AC unit, navigation and stuff like this. It's also touch screen. I don't really want to like make fingerprints, but it's, it's, it, it, this is also touch screen. And with this one, you can see you have this scroll. This is like older, uh, older stuff, how to, how to control the display, but this is because of the um, roof mechanism. Like it had to be like this, so. Yeah, that's why it's, it's not here the touchpad, but it's not a big deal in my opinion. I, I'm fan of all also for this. If you score like this, you can see that it's changing, so it's not a big issue. You can also do like this here, like on the touchpad. Track pace, you have this stuff which which I showed you, like massage seats, everything, uh, ambient lighting. So it's really a wonderful place to be here. You can see here the color 64 single colors and multicolor options so now we have super bright uh, sunshine so i'm not sure if i can show you this but yeah it's now 50 percent so if i put this back on the 100 it should help a little bit so yeah you can see it here so this is basically we can say the newest cabriolet because we have also like c-class facelift but that this is this is newer technology with mbux also overall it's it's newer car than the c-class cabriolet so yeah very very nice as you can see this car is just beautiful i'm not going to sit in the rear i did that before i can fit there it's not super comfortable but it's also not uncomfortable so it's uh, so it's uh, i would say doable we can we can uh, say it's doable and you have some cup holders uh, isofix for child so yeah really really what more do you need for summertime i don't know because for me this would be a really uh, wonderful car we have also these buttons for lights here as you can see so now we can try to put down the roof so press this button here but the engine needs to be on and now we're required startup so this is also good so don't wake up neighbors so if you put it back while well, stationary apply the brake before operating the soft top if you press down it will close and if you press up it will put the roof down okay so this is how it looks from the inside and it's very quick as you can see you can also see it here on the display if you hear the beep that means that it's okay it's done here if you press this button it will fold all windows together and now you are exposed to the elements also as I, as I told you this arrow stuff as you can see here and also there so I'm going to step out and show you how it looks can see it here so this helps with airflow when you are driving on the higher speeds like on the highway and yeah it's it's uh, it's better for this 
And now if you want to close, you will do that again, foot on the brake and close it. You can see the mechanism. So I know some people drive this even during winter, like with snow. So it's certainly possible to drive this even during like snow conditions because you have all-wheel drive system and yeah, this roof is really like with good isolation. The roof feels really good, uh, even though this is soft top, not, uh, but I personally, I like soft tops. It's more like traditional, more, I would say stylish, elegant. The hard roof is like, I don't know, like transformer. It's not like very, uh, <laughs> it's not very, very rug luxurious. I would say the, the, the hard top. But yeah, let me know which which uh, rooftop, soft top or hard top do you like more in the comment section down below. Take a look from the distance how it looks. Absolutely stunning in my opinion. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. So thank you much for watching and I will see you soon in the next video. Have a wonderful day.